What are you doing? I'm looking at for a specific cosplay of Maid Marian, but the fox version, but like not a fox on a particular person's Instagram who had a really good one. But I remember it from like two years ago, so I'm just back creeping this person. <laughs> what are we doing? Disney Withdrawal Day! Disney Withdrawal Day! Na 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 Everybody's going to Maine! Except us. <laughs> I'm kinda nervous that we're gonna get caught in the Labor Day traffic. We didn't think of that, but you know, it's fine. We'll be coming back later. Everybody will have already gone by the time we're on our way I don't, I don't, I think that's a positive attitude to have, but I don't think that's necessarily accurate. Keep it positive, <laughs> keep it positive, keep it a go. So, Nicholas. Yes. I think we need to give context of to what a Disney withdrawal day is. That is an excellent idea. So, the first time we heard this term, was from Promise Hope. Yeah, the now defunct Ears to You vlog. Yeah, so it was Ears to You, and now it's Promise Hope and uh, the, the Brock Files. Files. The Brockford Files. And they made a Disney Withdrawal Day, and it's basically when you can't go to Disney, and you haven't been to Disney in a while, but you want to do Disney-like things. It's creating your own park magic any way that you can. <laughs> so the things you have to do. Is there a list? Yes, there's a list. Okay. Disney merch. Number one, with a bullet. Disney-like food. Mm-hmm. Which can be kind of anything, but the more themed, the better. Yeah, Disney dining experience. Yeah. And the third, we'll call this the challenge one, so I don't know if we'll pull this off. Okay. Is ride a ride. Not just a two-hour car ride? No. <laughs> You have to find a monorail. No, you have to find a ride to go on. And then, and probably wait in a line. <laughs> and that is a Disney withdrawal day. So we're going to um, the, closest. the closest Disney store to us, which is like two hours away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're very committed to this Disney withdrawal day. You also wear magic bands. <laughs> Yeah, and we both have Disney, Disney outfits on. Yay! So stay tuned. We'll we'll see you at the Burlington Mall. We made it to a mall. We won a mall <laughs> with a cheesecake factory. We haven't actually gone to this cheesecake factory a couple of times. We've come here. We've walked into the cheesecake factory. It's always scary, and I do remember that I was. I like to ask servers like what they like. You know, like I like to ask them for their opinion. And I just remember her being like, I'm a vegan. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> well, I feel like being vegan at the Cheesecake Factory is tough because it's, cheese is right in the name. But yeah, notoriously not vegan, cheese. <laughs> so we're gonna go find the Disney store here at the Burlington Mall. Yay! That is the greatest ornament ever. That's going on the tree this year. 
Jafar looks like he's hoping nobody just heard him fart. Oh, thank you. Good. Did we find everything okay today? We did. All right, awesome. How'd you do? <laughs> we did so good. I'm so excited. All right, uh, let's go to the Lego store. Leave the Disney store and still find all the Disney merch. So not only do they have the castle, but did you see this over here? Uh, they have also the train station. Oh, and the goodness. Oh, look at Chip at the top. Oh, my. It's Dale McRae. Oh, my gosh. So you can build your own Magic Kingdom. Oh, my gosh, gosh, gosh. I don't know why, but this mall feels like it's like 70 times the size. It's so big. It's like huge compared to the main mall. The main mall. <laughs> I know, well, but the thing is, is like, I feel like the main mall, I feel like we have every, besides the Disney store, which we used to have back in the early 2000s, we had the quintessential 90s looking Disney store with like all the weird like colors and like the plush pit and all that fun stuff. So. R.I.P. R.I.P. the plush pit, that's gone. Oh they don't even have that here. Short mall visit. Woohoo! We did it. We did good. Yeah, we got a good haul. We came, we saw. We conquered. We came, we saw, we bought. <laughs> uh, but, so merch, done, now. Check. You have to do a, a check. Ding. That's what you gotta do. Fix it in post. You'll know if I did it. <laughs> All right, now, off for uh, food, uh, Disney themed dining is the next one. So common car listening for us is uh, Disney music, obviously, mm -hmm. but also the Disney afternoon theme songs. And <laughs> I love how they bothered to record like extended versions <laughs> with like stuff that never made it to the show. Like they didn't need it, but they're like, you know, I mean, we'll have a full song. So for no apparent reason, Chippendale Rescue Rangers has like a Saturday Night Live saxophone, saxophone solo. solo in the middle. Like Gummy Bears has like a little guide to the orchestra in the middle where it's like, now the piccolo plays. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Darkwing Duck gets nothing. All right, so now we're looking for Disney themed food because Nick did not plan well. I didn't look at the hours. He didn't look at the hours and he was like, oh, we'll go to this tiki bar. Um, tiki bars are not open during the day. Well, I'm sure there are some. I mean, notoriously, uh, tiki is like a mid-afternoon thing. But it's not open till 5, and it is noon right now, and we can't spend all day here because we got um, kitties to go home to today. So we are going to plan B. Stay tuned. So, Nick. Yeah? What was not super well thought out about this day? Uh... It's a holiday weekend. And, and where do we live? And we live in vacation land. <laughs> so we're trying to get home. And there's so much traffic. Uh, it looks like we're moving right now, but it's a lie. We're not moving. And there we go. We're stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it took us like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half to get to Burlington Mall. Yeah, probably. Closer to two hours, probably. but It's going to take us a million hours to get home. I know a part of Disney experience is waiting in lines, but... At least we have an air-conditioned line. It's true. We're getting the full experience. All right, theme dining. We got hungry, we were gonna go someplace else, but now I think we found the perfect solution. Yeah, what is that? There's a place in Portsmouth, New Hampshire that I swear to God is the Rosen Crown in Epcot. All right, we'll give it a shot. Here we go. So, how did I do? You did good. I think the menu here is really funny because it's like a British themed place with like quesadillas. Yeah. <laughs> First bites? It was so gummy. Yeah. So this is a lot like, this stuck out to me because when, what's it called in downtown Disney? Daily Poutine. Daily Poutine had a Oktoberfest poutine that was like a stout gravy and cheese curd. And that's exactly what this is. 
but there was a tater tot option. Mm. So we did the tater tot option. Well, and we do have fries underneath this phenomenal looking fish and chips. Yes, this is our Epcot edition. <laughs> Bum, 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 I will bum, say though, like bum, bum. pretty much anything can be Disney food if you make it Disney food. <laughs> yeah, you just need to add your own magic. Imagination. <laughs> Diving in. Okay. It's oh like a beer gosh. batter chips. Yeah, whatever it is that's on the um. Like the type of fry that this is, is <laughs> unbelievably good. God, that meal was good. Every now and then, I come up with a good idea. And that happened to be one of them. Alright, let's get home to the cats. Back to the traffic. I got a feeling this will be a magic night. Through the wilderness and space and Peter's flight. Splash down mountains, see the castle bathed in light. 